transplant. Today is the day of the procedure. Transplanted area. It was like What's going on guys? It's been 20 months since my hair transplant procedure in Istanbul. In this video I'm gonna show you how my transplanted hair is growing, how my native hair is growing and what am I doing to combat my further hair loss okay by the way you are watching a hair transplant channel where it's all about stopping our hair loss getting our hair back and hair transplant so make sure you subscribe to it right now if it interests you and other than that i hope you will enjoy this video so guys it's been 20 months so first let's take a look at the frontal density okay <clears throat> the frontal hairline looks like this the hair is here it's pretty thick, pretty dense, okay? And I like this hairstyle when I kind of comb the hair to the one side, let it grow longer here. I'm not using any hair fibers right now, this is just fresh. The hair looks like this, okay, without any hair makeup but what you should be concerned about after your hair transplant is the density of your native hair the hair that hasn't been transplanted and the hair with further hair loss potential further hair loss potential in my case is here you can see on the light <clears throat> that this crown area and the mid scalp area is brighter okay that's because the hair on top is thinner so what you should be doing there you should be blocking dht in these areas as well as promoting circulation in this area so also don't forget about your uh, transplanted hair because if you won't do any hair loss prevention in these areas in these transplanted areas your transplanted hair may also keep getting thinner and thinner so guys take this seriously and really you have to do something with your hair again from one side you need to target the dht and block it especially in your scalp and also you have to promote the blood circulation in your scalp to improve the hair thickness okay so you have to do these things the two simple things that you just have to do no more than that things that i am using right now that i started to use recently uh first i stumbled upon this shampoo i made a video on it a couple weeks ago which is from hair restoration laboratories it's called dht blocking shampoo so this is the shampoo that i'm using now on a regular basis daily basis i'm using this shampoo twice or three times a week and i'm using this one twice a week so this is the stronger version because it contains 25 percent more potent dht blockers than this one i'm using this one like three times a week and this one's like one two times a week okay they're also closely cooperating with a lot of doctors and a lot of researchers who are researching all these ingredients and developing this product this is what i'm doing to block the hd on my scalp okay we also have to do something to promote the blood circulation on our scalp to in order to successfully regrow the hair i mean regrow make the hair thicker so uh, for this i am using my laser helmet from iRestore this is the device that i'm using every other day for 25 minutes low level laser therapy was proven to produce great results in terms of thickening your thin hair now i cannot really tell any like results like crazy improved thickness or something like that i can tell that i have less hair loss than i had before but i haven't seen any noticeable improvement in thickness by using this so i'm gonna keep being consistent with it i'm, I'm gonna post you another update on my laser helmet after six months, fifth or sixth month. What I'm doing right now, besides laser helmet, besides my DHT blocking shampoo, I actually, I also started to use the special ultra strength hair regrowth treatment also by Hair Restoration Laboratories. This is a serum which, believe me or not, contains minoxidil. And you know, I made a video why I stopped using the normal minoxidil from Kirkland or Rogaine. Uh, I don't know, there are many brands producing minoxidil. 
because it made my scalp itchy and really made me feel uncomfortable. It was very liquidy and it made my scalp dry, itchy. And I also got this heat in my ears. And when I put it like one, two hours before I went to bed, when I applied it, then I just felt like so much heat around my ears. I don't know if somebody of you can relate to it and I just couldn't fall asleep, very uncomfortable. Luckily, I discovered this serum, which also contains minoxidil in it as an active ingredient, but it doesn't contain any alcohols, any chemicals that normal minoxidil product contains, like the one from Kirkland that I was using, you know, all this stuff here that you can see now. Uh, this, it doesn't contain because it contains only minoxidil and besides minoxidil it contains green tea extract, keratin, sal palmetto extract, pantatonic acid which is like vitamin b5, we have b8, we have biotin here, we have pumpkin seed oil, azelaic acids, we have cumin seed oil and caffeine, all great substances, natural ingredients that will block DHT and simultaneously the minoxidil 5% solution will promote the circulation on the scalp. So here you have DHT blocker plus a blood circulation enhancer two in one, okay? So this is what this serum is. And as soon as I opened it, I realized that this one is gonna be better than the liquid in minoxidil because its consistency is much more like, a, like an organic, freshly squeezed orange juice you know it's more like like thicker the consistency is not like watery it's more like you know it's not i cannot see through it you know it's very very thick kind of consistency and i always rub it in with my fingers every night before bed i'm using it once a day right now i've been using it for one two weeks i haven't experienced any of these side effects that i experienced when I was using my old Minoxidil by Kirkland. If you check out my description below, there is the link where you can also get these products. And if you use my discount code BLOG15, you will get 15% off of your whole order. And they are shipping worldwide. So this is a great company and I'm really happy that I'm affiliated with them because uh, I really believe in these products and I see already like great looking hair on the outside and I hope I will get some increased hair density on my mid scalp, especially here after using the serum. Usually three to four months is the period where you will see the results in terms of hair thickness as by any other minoxidil product. Use these products guys, they are really great. And uh, if you know about better products, just let me know in the comments below. For now, I haven't discovered any better products in 2018 to combat hair loss, any better shampoo to block the AHD. Also, I haven't found any better version of minoxidil, which could help me to increase my blood flow on my scalp. Before I apply my minoxidil, I either brush my scalp like this you know I press it I really press press it hard like hard not so hard on my skin on my scalp and I just do this okay I just do this just simple movement from here from somewhere on the crown area here just straight lines straight movements two to three minutes sometimes five minutes playing with my skin like this really massaging my scalp like that before I apply my minoxidil, okay? I also use my derma roller, 0.5 millimeters. The, the 0.5 millimeter version, you should use like three, no more than three times a week, okay? The longer the needles are on the derma roller, the less you should use it. The longer the needles are, the more damage they will do to your skin. To your hair follicles okay or to your skin if you use it on your face i'm using the 0.5 millimeter derma roller for this reason so i can use it every other day so i can immediately after that use the minoxidil so it will be absorbed better and i will get a better result from my minoxidil as well the days that you don't use derma roller use the brush with wooden or plastic bristles 
and promote the really massage your scalp and really improve the blood flow be before you use the minoxidil any other version you like you don't have to buy this one this is just what i'm using many people uh, were asking me if there is something to uh, to lose if you use minoxidil in my opinion short term there is nothing to lose if you use minoxidil because minoxidil will be effective okay it may be more effective by some individuals and less effective by another individuals but it's going to be effective at the end it may lose its effectiveness though after a while after a couple of years you will notice that that's why i tell you if you don't experience any side effects after using minoxidil which you probably won't if you use this version and if it's comfortable for you to apply it if you have no problems doing that and if you have the money for it then i would say use it short term there is more to win than there is to lose and after it stops being effective for you whatever then you will research another things that you could do to combat hair loss you know there's also finasteride but i'm telling you guys like i would if you are a young guy losing your hair in your 20s or even in your 30s like i would start with this it's dht blocker and enhancer of blood flow at the same time okay so it's two in one and i would start with that and look at the results after three to six months and then all right did it work how am i satisfied with the results if the results are not uh, really good or if you're not satisfied then probably another hair transplant is an option or prp or going on finasteride may result in better results but if you are afraid of finasteride for whatever reasons i have my reasons uh, this is a great option to start with minoxidil any version of minoxidil that you are comfortable using and then use DHT blockers, potent DHT blockers like these shampoos guys or another shampoo that you research that is rich in DHT blockers. By the way, that was all for this video that I had to say. Please let me know in the comments below how you liked it. And also for all you guys who are interested in hair transplant, make sure you check out my free ebook, five things I wish I'd known before my hair transplant, my mistakes that I wish I've done differently it's for free you can download it on my website metdominance.com where you can also subscribe to my email list where i will be posting updates on hair transplant clinics good quality hair transplant clinics and good price quality ratio hair transplant clinics so if you are serious about hair transplant there is the email list that you have to subscribe to guys this is important so make sure you subscribe to this email list right now and thank you so much for sticking to this video until this very end and i'm already looking forward to see you in the next video